What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning into another tutorial in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. Got another Green Circle lesson for you today as we build up to those more advanced lessons. Today, I'm going to show you how to get those jute boxes in your workshop to play jazz or rock and roll instead of classical music. Now, for some inexplicable reason, the developers decided to set the jute boxes to play classical tunes as the default, as well as the amp, I think, and there's no way to change the station, so to speak. I mean, come on, Bethesda, what jukebox in the world has ever played classical music? I don't even think jukeboxes in nursing homes play classical music. It's just not a jukebox thing, you know? As a matter of fact, the word juke comes from a Creole word meaning wild or boisterous. And what is New Orleans famous for? It's jazz. But we're going to rectify that with a clever little hack, all without the need for mods. You couldn't tell in my Vault 42 build because I had some EDM playing over it, but the jukebox in Club Zone plays rock and roll. Now, if you're coding savvy, I'm sure there's a way to change the music other ways on a PC by manipulating like the music files and stuff. But for the rest of us who just want to change it up a little bit, there's a much simpler workaround. So over here, I built a quick little diner set just to have something more fun and appropriate around us while we work. In fact, I've decided to rename Abernathy Farm to Abernathy Studios as it's becoming more and more like my Hollywood film lot here. <laughs> Actually, that's how the film industry got started in Hollywood around 100 years ago. Early filmmakers from New York and other places moved to L.A. for the weather and also to try and dodge Thomas Edison's strict patents on filming. They started building film lots on cheap ranches and farmland. Eventually, Hollywood became known as the epicenter of showbiz. Cool beans! Got to squeeze a fun little fact in there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is head over to decorations, to miscellaneous, and then you have a choice of these two jute boxes. I think they're pretty much the same. One's maybe a little less junky than the other. Yeah, might as well use this one. It's got kind of a mirror surface to it. That's pretty cool. You'll notice we can't get it too close to the wall, but we can fix that. You can also hear it's playing classical music as well. So we're gonna turn that off by just activating it. And then if you wanna get it a little closer, you can use the rug glitch that I showed you guys the other day. Now, you can decide for yourself how far you want it to go into the wall. All right, I think it looks kind of cool actually with more of a purple glow back there. Yeah, the speakers are still there. It can be kind of built into the wall. If you don't like that, I think it's weird looking, you can always just move it out a little bit. Okay, now, See what happens. Ooh, it pops upwards. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to sink down so I could have reminded you guys about my uh, no sinking trick from the other day. Okay, let's pull that back out. Let's just see what happens real quick if we use the, uh, the trick. That maximum glow going. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Oh, it sinks a little bit. Well, it's still raised off the ground. It's kind of interesting. It didn't happen with the other jute box. I picked the other jute box and it didn't sink down. Let's see if that makes a difference, all right? 
Let's see here. Yeah, I used the junkier one when I was testing this. Let's just see what happens. is fascinating. Okay, that's what I expected to happen. So, I guess the inner wireframe mesh of the other jukebox is a little different than this one, and it pops up instead of uh, sinking down. Okay, well... That's interesting. Okay, so you guys can decide which you like better. Alright, but if you don't want this one to sink down, then that's where I can show you this method. So, let's... Uh Let's go back over to wood. Okay, we'll bring it out a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, and then perfectly down into place. All right. Okay, so that looks nice to me. If that sort of aesthetic bothers you guys, then you can just not have it go quite as far into the wall. It's totally up to you. All right, but uh, when you push it a little further, you get that purple glow back there, and I think it looks kind of neat. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off the classical music, and then our little hack involves... Some of you guys have already guessed it, I'm sure. Involves the radio, okay? You've got two radios here. You've got one that's tuned into classical and one that's tuned into Diamond City radio. And if you've listened to both, you know that Diamond City radio plays typically more jazz and rock and roll. So that's what we're gonna use now. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna rug glitch it in <laughs> to the jute box, all right? So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is turn them on. Now, why am I using two of them? Well, basically just to amplify the sound a little bit. You can just use one if you don't want it too loud. Two at the same time will give you a slightly louder sound. It'll be subtle, you know, like maybe just one or two more decibels or something, but uh, might as well. And there is another reason for it, uh, which I'll show you in just a second, okay? So let's rug glitch these in here. Okay, there you go. You can use that little light as a guide. That light's not going to stay, unfortunately, unless we do one more trick, which I'll explain in a moment, but let's get these in here. Okay, basically good enough. All right, let me pull these rugs out. All right, those lights kind of disappear. Actually, you can kind of still see that one, but that one's, that one's gone. Okay, so now let's get right up to it. That is the trick, guys. All right, now if you do want the little lights, you know, if you're a little OCD like me and you want the little tiny little light showing down underneath just for the fun of it, then you will need to leave a mat down here so they don't have uh, quite as much ability to drop through the floor. If you noticed in my Vault 42 build in the club zone, I put down a rubber mat as to be sort of like a dance floor, and that prevents uh, those things from dropping through. It'll take a little finagling, and it's also gonna depend on the type of floor that you have underneath it. The game engine physics of that can be really finicky, but that's the general gist of it. So that's gonna do it for this lesson, you know? Such a simple workaround, it's almost hilarious, but now you can have those jukeboxes in your settlement play bebop instead of classical without the need for mods. 
Hope this helped you guys. If it did, throw a like on the video and make sure you turn on that subscription bell to get notified when these videos drop. Be back soon with another cool video. Happy building and class dismissed. Adam Bomb, I want her in my way one. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Adam Bomb, baby little Adam Bomb, I want her in my way one. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Adam Bomb, baby little Adam Bomb.